All right, Mark. We've got five tiers. S, A, B, C, D, and F. Today's tier list. We are doing a Star Wars Aura tier list. These are my favorite. I love these. Do you, do you have Aura? Some would say I do have Max Aura. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We're already started. Okay, let's just let's just get into it. With the, with the first character up. Specifically, Lego Star Wars Jar Jar Binks. And if you want to get more specific, the actual level that he is introduced on. Okay. Instantly to me, he's above mid aura. Yeah. Like he is he's already jumping up there. Yeah, I would agree. Did I say we have five tiers? I think there's six. Alright. <laughs> well <laughs> the intro is wrong, but who mm, cares? Who cares? <laughs> six tiers. But like I said, Jar Jar is the uh first one up here. I don't know. I think it's B minimum. Yeah. Because like I said, it's a, it's definitely above mid. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I'd want to give them A though. I don't know. You're sure. I'll say A. So if you say B, it goes B. Okay. So you can make the judgment call. I'll hmm. leave it up to you. Um, hmm. Is there a cutscene where they go into the water? Or no, I don't remember. Yeah. It doesn't he do like a crazy like flip into the I water? I think so. Okay, that raises it even more <laughs> okay. for me. I'm trying to think of like the whole level, right? Uh huh. You know, I'll give, I'll, I'll agree with the A actually. Okay. I will agree with the A tier for like a Star Wars Jar Jar. Let's get it. Story. I've got my way already. <laughs> All right. Next up on the list. Okay, let me explain this one. Okay. Can you can you tell who this is? It looks like Sabalba. So this is Sabalba, but we're doing specifically in this exact scene. So he just okay. got his pod blown up by Anakin. By a kid. Yes. So that really lowers the or. I mean, I know it's Anakin and all, but yeah. I mean, still, he was like. And it's it's Sabalba too. He's, like this is the, the goat. He, he this is the goat of pod racing right here. Is Sabalba, and he was very highly talked about. Like everybody was putting their you know their credits on him here. Like he like he was the man. You know. Mm -hmm. So him getting destroyed by a kid in a pod race like that doesn't like i had his money line because it was just a lot i mean who i mean did we all like <laughs> there's no we all had the money line we, we thought he was gonna win if we're being honest yeah so this is definitely a very low aura moment for sure especially with he, somebody of the stature of Sabola. yeah and then he's then he out of all things to say <laughs> he says poo dude <laughs> That even that, that makes it even worse actually. This yeah. might be F. <laughs> you think this is F? Dude, poo doo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's gotta be F, dude. It ha uh, no. After hearing you say it as well, it has to go F. That's insane. <laughs> that's very, very Wow. That's bad. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that one's F. On to the third one. We've got Sidious. Ooh, okay. When he shows up in the Clone Wars. Uh, to to fight Maul and Savage. I mean, I, you know, when I was watching this episode, I felt the aura at the start. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a disturbance, but when it got to this part, then I understood. I felt the aura at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. Like this, and and the whole fight scene, and the, I mean, you could tell Sidious. He he was he was going to teach Maul a lesson here. Yeah, and the fact Maul senses it that he mm -hmm. that he's showing up. Yeah, I mean even Maul, Maul sensed the aura. Yeah, like he, this might be asked here, for me. I I think I think we would be doing it a disservice if it didn't go in S. That's true. I would agree with that. So there we go. There's our first S tier with Sidious. On to the fourth one here. We've got <laughs> Kiari Mundi, but when he dies <laughs> tough tough moment for him the conehead himself um 
because <laughs> he has when he when he's getting shot for some reason yeah, he does the he, yeah he's like he's like <laughs> like and he does like it's a, a dramatic spin like, yeah yeah it's down. like <laughs> it's like when you're when you're a kid and you're like <laughs> Playing outside and you're acting like you're getting shot a bunch of times. I know what you're talking you're about. You're just like, oh. <laughs> and that's exactly what he does. Which I mean, I guess in this moment he's not acting; he's getting shot a bunch of times. True. But is that really what you would do <laughs> if you're repeatedly getting shot? I don't know. I will say I'll give him a little bit of credit. He did fight for his. You know, he was he held. He tried to hold his ground. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it was impossible odds for the man and i don't know i don't think i would throw it down in with the bulba though yeah i would probably throw it in d yeah honestly the the thing that holds it up is probably what you were saying like he is he's making an effort like he yeah he didn't go down without a fight exactly yeah yeah okay so that goes in d up next (laughs) that's f i I, (laughs) I had to bring it back. So, for those of you that didn't see, we did a drippiest Imperial Troopers tier list. This is the picture that was used for the Snow Trooper. And we said in that video that if this was an Aura tier list, it would be F. This has to go in F. This picture is unreal. Well, I, first off, his feet. I like how his feet are like out yeah. like that. Like, that's the first part. And then he's just like arms to the side like fists kind of like <laughs> what's he about to do here that's like that's like it's... that was like probably his first day on the job too yeah yeah i mean that's like first day of work type photo <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is i'm just putting it in f i like but i wait. have nothing to really say about it other than like oh like it just takes one look at it like, yeah that's and terrible. you can see the aura is that's just honestly gone. that's honestly negative if i'm being honest yeah that's that's negative aura i'd probably sure. i'd probably say so too okay up next we've got anakin in the clone wars from the mortis arc when he uses the force to oh yeah to control yeah the son and the daughter anakin always like to me like has that aura about him but this yeah. is like taking it to the next level like Especially because didn't he like when he was doing it? He's like he like yelled. He's like kneel or something like that. Or I don't actually or, know. I forget what he yelled. He yelled something during this, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but he like, you could tell like that that's the chosen one. Yeah, that's the chosen one. So that's S for me. I would probably also have to say S. I I think it's the same thing with Sidious, where I feel like you're doing it a disservice if it's not an S. Feel that. Clone Wars has some crazy aura moments for sure. True. Very true. Okay, up next, we've got. Now I gotta I gotta explain this again. Okay, we're, we're going through this. So this is the aura of everyone but Mace Windu <laughs> when the fight actually starts. Okay, so we're already like this is like a low aura. Like I Yeah, already, this like, is because <laughs> they get dusted in like five seconds. Mm-hmm. I do think they get they gain some aura points just from this exact moment when they actually walk in that shot is a good shot that's a very good shot actually but the fact that they just get dusted like that but if i'm gonna be honest here mace and maybe kit fist are the only ones that are really looking like they're actually might put up a fight like mace is like standing there like i know i'm gonna win like yeah. Mace knew like i'm gonna win this fight Kit Fist, though, was a little... He, he, he looks a little confident in himself, right? He has, like, the... He's, like, mm. holding the lightsaber in one hand, like, out like that. But yeah. I don't know if he's fully confident. And then the other two, I don't know. They, they seem to be a bad bit intimidated. Yeah, I believe which, this is... I believe this is Sase Tin and Agent Kolar. Okay. Which, I mean... It, they're going up against Sidious. Like, I would be intimidated myself. Yeah, so, like, they're, like, they're going two hands on the saber because they, they know they, they got to lock in. They know they're locked in. And then they get, <laughs> they're locking in and then they get dusted. Yeah, like they seconds. like, Kit Fisto at least lasts a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. They <laughs> legit get smoked. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is pretty low aura for me. Um, 
This might also be D. This I'm, is D or was, C. I was thinking D because of the po like the shot. It's really cool. Yeah. But we're not like you said. We're not judging off a of mace. We're keeping mace out of it here. Mm -hmm. So I will give it a D. If it if it was mace too, I would probably give it a C. But yeah. Okay. So that goes into D. Goes right there with <laughs> with the, <laughs> the Jedi friend Kiati Mundi. Okay, up next, Sev. But I've also got a little stipulation here, but this is his introduction in Republic Commando. Okay, I remember. I mean, that's... Out of all of them, it, in my opinion, I liked it the most. I thought it was the coolest. Yeah. So obviously that means it's got a crazy, like, good amount of aura in it. He's got crazy lines, too. True, and, his, and the voice actor killed it. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, his voice was absolutely stellar. <laughs> because it wasn't an actor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. I got you there. Kind of like lean in A, I, I would think. Yeah. I think I'm with that too. I think too. A is a cool spot for him. Like, I don't want to try to stretch it to B. Yeah, I don't know if I could reason B. To but be I think those S tier ones are like really in a class of their own. Uh, yes, very much so. Okay, up next, we've got Watto in episode two when he <laughs> has gambled all of his belongings away and he is out on the street now. So this is very low. Like, we're, like, we're, like this is low aura because he's on the street. He lost his, he lost his shop, right? I mean, he's not in it, so I would assume so. Yeah, because he's just on the side of a building with the like, stuff out. So, mm -hmm. and he and he said he had to <clears throat> uh, tell Anakin's mom to a moisture farmer because he probably needed the money. Yeah, the credits. So almost certainly. <clears throat> so yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty low mo moment for Watto. I mean, he's got the beard. You can tell. So you know, he's not like he's not taking care of himself. Yeah, he's really um, letting himself go. Yeah. He's, Gotta and he can't fix the the pit droid yeah like he lost his touch here he absolutely yeah. lost his touch yeah anakin just pulled up a anakin in this scene loki has some crazy aura because he just pulls up <laughs> just one thing pit droids fixed yep so um he's also got this like world war one ass helmet on <laughs> and i didn't even notice that like that's kind of what it so. looks like <laughs> although Lenny? Little Lenny? It is a yeah, little Lenny! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good moment. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that... But, like, does that give him aura, though? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. So, I mean... Ooh, this is B, B and C are clear right now. It's definitely not F. It's better than Poodoo. Yeah... <sighs> On, I honestly might go C only because I don't know if it's a very low aura moment as much as it's just oh, he is down bad. That's true. I get what like, you mean. Like he's just struggling. I get what you mean. It's not necessarily that he's doing something to where he's lost aura. Yeah, because he's still trying to, you know, work and get, you know, keep himself afloat. He's trying. At he's least, probably right? he's probably still gambling. Probably. He's probably trying to get back on his luck, which I can respect that. So <laughs> Well I'm going C. Yeah, You're going okay, C. I'm, I'm cool with C actually. <laughs> now now that you explain that I'm cool with C. Okay, up next we've got this specific shot. Oh, that's great. Of Queen Amadon. That's crazy. So that was when they were starting to invade, right? I believe. Yeah, and she said okay. she was staying. Yeah. That's pretty high aura. Like you're not like leaving your people mm -hmm. as a leader. Like that's that is very commendable. And the shot is crazy too. <laughs> like that's a crazy yeah. shot. Um, yeah, that's kind of my my main thing with it. Not B or A to me. Plus the outfit's tough too. Yeah, that's um, probably the the Padme outfit with the most aura. I would say so. Yeah. But do we have an A again? 
We have Sev's introduction and Lego Star Wars Jar Jar. Hmm. hmm. This is kind of tough. It's it's weird because I'm comparing this shot and like the lines to a Lego character. <laughs> that's true. So that's also makes yeah. it a little difficult. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know the shot and the the lines and the delivery. I, I might lean A here. Okay. I think I might lean A. I'll, I'll rock lie. with you. I'll rock with you because I know what's coming up right here. Up next, mm -hmm. we've got General Grievous with a stipulation. General Grievous anywhere but Dathomir. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Dath so him absolutely wreaking havoc on Dathomir doesn't count. Does not count. So we're like talking like COVID Grievous. Well, I guess he's cloning Grievous. Because he's coughing, yeah. So he's always coughing. I guess in Clone Wars he wasn't, so. <laughs> you could have said bronchitis, where you act like you're actually coughing all the time. COVID doesn't necessarily mean you're coughing. I mean, true, but it seems like he's sick like all the time. So. Okay, I got you. I guess bronchi bronchitis makes more sense, but. LeBronchitis. LeBronchitis. <laughs> Le, le, le COVID-19. Le COVID-19. Le General Grievous. <laughs> I'm, I might go B. I might go B. Just because, like, he still, like, he has aura. He does. But he does do a lot of things that make him lose aura. But, like, I feel like the intimidating factor is... Is, is kind yeah, of like keeps him up a like little bit. Like the intimidating is there. The the scene in episode three when he's fighting Kenobi was sick because he's like, when Kenobi was like, "Yo, move!" And then yeah. Grievous was like saying he was trained by Duke and the Jedi Arts and pull out the four you know lightsabers like that's yeah that definitely is crazy aura. But then he has like moments where like I think who roasts them in episode three where he's like talking about he'll always run and hide. I think it was Windu. It probably Grievous will run and hide or something. How mm -hmm. he always does, which brings down the aura because he's yeah, and like the little... the countless times in Clone Wars where he runs away. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm cool with B. Yeah, because I, I like B because I think that's a good like. I think he, he yeah, like he's on the upper half, but mm -hmm. the lowest possible spot on the upper half. I would yeah, say. yeah, I so, like that. B he slots in nicely, and the final one here, we've got. Luke, this is like this specific picture though. Maybe this the is toughest like Luke on Palpatine's <laughs> throne. Like I can imagine him posting this on his like space like Instagram story, yeah. like just dusted the Emperor <laughs> 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 or something like that. <laughs> just smoked the Sith, <laughs> smoking on the Sith pack. That's what, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that's something mm -hmm. like that. Like this is S tier aura. Like this is might be the top one or all time and the, and the fact that like this is just like a picture <laughs> that mark hamill wanted to take mm -hmm. but like he's in character here like oh, this is this is luke <laughs> grittying on <laughs> on their graves <laughs> like this is luke like he like the death star was getting blown up he's like he's like pulling vader over the ship to get him out he's like hold on <laughs> yeah he was like, I think I've got enough time to flick up for the Instagram. <laughs> to flick up. <laughs> so, so he pulls up, <laughs> hits him with one of these, and then just dips. Dude, like, that's so cold, bro. He was like, definitely a character, too. You know he was. Like, if you're a Sith here, you're just, like, rolling in your grave. Yeah. Like, because this is just disrespectful. Cause like one of these things is like, like how they always say with Moff Gideon when he when he sees the one X wing and and Mando and oh, he knows yeah. it's Luke. He, he probably has the knowledge that <laughs> he was on the Death Star with Palpatine and Vader, and mm -hmm. he is the one that walked out. He's the only one that left, and you know he might have seen Luke's Instagram story with him posted up in the yeah in Palpatine's seat. 
so what what song what song <laughs> is he is he posted on his like like this is going on his story what songs with it is it is it 50 cent many men oh, yeah. <laughs> is it no it has to be that one dude it has to be many men dude it has to be many men wish i mean this, this is as, this it. is as tier. i can like, see it dude what else can you do right this what where easy. else can it go like i said this this might be like top one or all time so <laughs> i'm not even kidding okay luke goes in s that's the tier list i mean obviously we're gonna pick some pretty high aura moments and characters so it's just what we do we can't help it <laughs> yeah it's usually always pretty top heavy but i i made, I made sure to put in low aura moments as well so it's a, to be honest it's one of the more fairly balanced ones we have i would say yeah i like it shout out uh shout out luke flicking up for instagram <laughs> Slip.